So in this group of videos, we're going to be looking at cicadas. And so to begin with, we're just going to talk a little bit about what cicadas actually are. Cicadas are displacements. Um, it means literally to take out. So it's kind of like if I'm here and Shelly is here, and I want to take her place, I want to displace her. So if I use a cicada, that would mean I step in through her center line and I'm going where she is. So I'm stepping and I'm displacing her, okay? We actually have six different types of cicadas. We have three for the leaders and three for the followers, at least. Actually, some people can make up a few more, but, but these are the basic ones, which is a forward cicada, a leader's forward cicada, a leader's side cicada, or I could even do a back cicada, okay? And we have the same three for the followers. I could lead Shelly to a forward cicada. I could lead Shelly to a back cicada, or I could lead Shelly to a side cicada. Actually, the sides aren't really used all that much. We usually do forward or back, but the sides do exist, so we're mentioning them here. And then we have each of those six can be done to any of our three steps. In Order King Hanger, we have three primary steps. We have forward crosses. We have open steps. And we have back crosses. So I could do any of those three cicada leader cicadas to any of her three steps and vice versa. So one of the most important things for cicadas to be successful is that this is an advanced step because we really need both partners to take their steps properly. So we've often talked about in our classes and in some of our videos how we have three distinct different parts to each step. We have an extension, we transfer to our new leg, and then we collect. Okay? So if you see with Shelly here, if I lead her to take a step, she's extending her leg, she's transferring her weight. But see, she's transferred her weight, but her, pre, her new leg, the leg she's leaving, has not gone anywhere yet. It hadn't collected. So what I want to do for a successful cicada is to step as she's doing that transfer. Now this is where we get a little more advanced than beginner classes, where as a beginner, we usually want to go together. We go together with each step. But for a cicada, I actually lead her to go first, and then I go. I lead her to go, then I go. Okay. So if we look at a cicada to her forward step, notice what Shelly's doing here. She's stepping, transferring, and then her back foot is pointed. So I can step in and do a cicada. Now, if she took a super teeny tiny step and transferred but didn't point, look at what could happen. Her foot could get stepped on. But if she's taking a nice, normal sized step, then I can step in without any worries of stepping on her toes because actually her toes should be pointed. So some of the tips for leaders and the technique for leaders in this, leading a cicada, is that first I have to lead her to go before I go. Also, I have to go through her line so again, this is not so much a cicada. We do it from this angle here. This wouldn't really be a set. See, I haven't really gone through her line. I've gone to the line, but I actually want to go through it. In order to do that, I need another technique, which is this. See, I go with a straight leg. If I go with a bent leg, see, I could run into her. And I might even be able to get 
I, when I, if I go with a straight leg, I can go very deep. And then as I transfer, I go through. So I want to go to the foot that she's leaving. Not to the middle and not to the foot that she's going to. Because I don't want to step in the way of her taking weight. See, if I do this, then I would be moving into her space and I would be knocking her off axis. That's exactly what I would want to do if I was doing something like a Colgata. But that's not what we're looking for here. We're looking for a Sakata. So I'm going to the foot that she's leaving. One way to look at the timing here is that I'm wanting to step as she's transferring her weight. I'm not going to step as she's extending. Then I'm going to be too early. I'm going to step as she's transferring. So again, she's extended, she's transferring. That's when I start to step in. And also, in order to miss her hip, I'm stepping in, I often think of it also as behind her hip. Then I've got plenty of room to take that step and complete the step. For the followers, she needs to take, as we've mentioned already, a nice side step and transfer without collecting. So she's not going to rush that collection. If she steps and then immediately pulls that leg in, then see there's no foot there for me to saccata. Cool. Now, the collection for her. Notice if she were to pull her foot in right now, she might trip over my foot. But what she's going to do is if she wants to come back in front of me, is she goes around. So her foot's going to go in an arc and then collect. Now we're back to neutral, we can do our next step. The easiest way to get started with cicadas, the first step is if we know forward ochos. Here, lean forward ochos, or what we call forward crosses. And see, I'm going with Shelly. When I want to do the cicada, I'm going to send Shelly without me going. So see, I didn't step with her there. I stayed where I was. And then I can step in for Sakata. Turn around, do another one. Then back to neutral. The next one, I'm gonna go to the cross. Lead her to forward Osho again. And again, just like in the last step, I'm going to lead her without me going, and then I can step in for a cicada. Now, let's say I want to do another cicada. Now, her weight is on her left leg, her right is free, so I'm going to lead her, continue leading her in a circle. So this is going to create the turn, which is going to mean that her next step is a side step. And then I can step in with my right. And then we're in cross system now. My left is free, her left is free. I could go out to the cross. Or, I could do the cicada with my left, like we did a minute ago. Cicada with my right, to her side. And then I could keep the turn going and do a cicada to her back. So there I'm doing a cicada, a forward cicada, to each of her three steps. I'm doing a cicada to her forward cross, her side step, and her back cross. Notice that when I do the cicada to her back cross, that just the natural movement of me coming around Shelly 
this way. Her free leg just naturally does like a little tug there. One question that often gets asked when we talk about cicadas is how much contact do the legs make with one another? And you'll see this so often. I'll see this. Boom. Where guys are sort of bump her leg out of the way. No need for that. I want to step nice and deep, but now I've done my step. My foot is there. It's crossed through. All I'm going to do now is take weight. Now, did our legs make contact? A little bit. It was like a gentle grazing. Like, there's a little bit of contact right here. And in fact, I want that contact to be above the ankle and below the knee. Because if we hit the ankle or the knee, that can be painful. So we go for that spot right between. So yes, there can be contact. There doesn't have to be though. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. That time I didn't make any contact whatsoever. This still was a nice cicada. This, no, that's not really a cicada. It's fine, it's safe. It's going to result in kind of the same thing, but it's not really a cicada. I didn't go through her line. And she's saying it doesn't feel like a cicada. I want to go through that line, through that line, through that line. And after each cicada, we always like to think of things in small little chunks rather than as sequences. So we just looked at a couple of sequences, but each of those pieces are small little chunks. So what I mean by that is that here, this forward cross for her and forward cicada for me. And then we resolve it. See, we're back to neutral here. Here, the next step, the side. And then we resolve it. We're back to neutral. Here, on the back one, this one's a bit more complicated. Ah, she did a little tug. But then we resolved and came back to neutral. Unless I took her in a different direction. Uh, but if I come back to neutral, she's going to come back to neutral and bring your feet back into collection. So, see there I took it in a different direction. That's fun. But if I come back to neutral, then she's going to come back to neutral and let her feet collect. So that's the end of this class. We've covered the basic technique of the cicadas, and we've covered a couple of different simple steps to start practicing them. We're going to come back in the next couple of weeks with some more advanced classes using cicadas, where we'll look at women's cicadas, we'll look at forward and back cicadas, um, you know, in a lot of different combinations with other steps. So we hope you enjoyed this class and come back for more. Thanks.